Hi there, my name is Brian, and this is my 1985 Oceana. It's a trawler, 35 foot. I bought it in the fall of 2022. Spent last winter converting it over to electric from diesel. We'll go through some of those details later. But for now, just going to show some of the stuff on the inside. So what I've done is this was a half berth here before on this side. Took that out and made a full queen over here onto the port side it used to be uh, the galley it used to be all the way around here so taking that out put in a new sink with some plumbing uh, for now it's a chemical toilet for the guests but that'll become a compost toilet eventually i still have to put a new floor in yet for this part of it uh, up forward way underneath the pillows there is the uh batteries for the bow thruster the 24 volt system uh, those are uh, got to get venting for those yet one more thing to do there's always a list of things to do added a bunch of lighting here is the electrical here just in behind the uh, main helm so i've taken it all out and started from scratch so up the top is the shore power with my elci breaker and down the bottom is the uh, the 12 volt and the 20 the 12 volt and the 120 volt and a bunch of fuses here on the bottom just for some extra lighting and so on so then stepping up here onto the uh, into the main salon is the main helm station does the controls for the uh, electric motors there's a mirror image of those up onto the uh, flybridge as well with the throttle controls over here on the port side i've taken and put the galley up here with a sink uh, got my soda stream close by and always never far away is a nespresso machine so when i'm driving the boat up on the uh, flybridge it goes up there as well so i've got some more power plugs there for it uh put a bunch of uh, uh, GFI receptacles all over the place uh, microwave and then here's the old the couch the settee as we may call it uh, the cushions are all out just storage for now for stuff as I'm working away and in the center of the main salon is the electrical room aka volt as I usually refer to it as and we'll go through some of those details later Going a little bit aft, we've got the uh, spiral stairs going up into the sun deck, uh, TV there. I've got some temporary heating with the little diesel heater because it is a little cold. As you can see, I'm wearing a toque, a little cold. Uh, going down into the aft cabin, I've got a set of storage here in the side that I just put a switch in. So what I'm going to do, I hope, is to take the bottom of that out because there's all kinds of room underneath and put a wash machine in there. No dryer because dryers use way too much electricity. So we'll just have to hang stuff the old fashioned way. Uh, then going down a couple of steps here, we've got the aft cabin. And I haven't really changed anything in here except just got the light switches in there with some uh, reading lights, all 12 volt. A uh, bunch of lights on the top as well. Uh, lots and lots of storage. Uh, this side as well, so there's room for just about everything. And then the main head here, here we've got, uh, I didn't touch much in here except I've taken the toilet out. So I've got no uh, black water at all. So the uh, that's a compost toilet uh, with a shower. So hence on the side of the boat, I've got it's electric, no fuel, no pump out, just add water and sunshine. Well, the sunshine part's going to be solar panels later on. I haven't gotten to that yet. That'll be early in the spring to get those on. Uh, light switch for the main lights here. Going back up into the main salon, you get a better shot of the engine compartment, the Volt. I will go through that in some detail as to what I've done for voltages and uh, things like that. And uh, hopefully... Uh, get some more details for all the stuff that I've done to the boat. I've got a bunch of other little videos of uh, shorts of things that I've done and some of the trips I've been on. Got 130 hours on the boat so far, so it's working quite well. Very impressive, actually. About 10% better than I had anticipated. And uh, we'll see what happens over the winter as we start trying to get a hard top on it and some solar panels. In the meantime, have a good one and uh, try to stay warm because it's awfully cold here.